All right. You know, people can watch my videos on YouTube, you know? All right. Th this is the message today. Scientology. Anyone that has an interest becomes like that. Okay? You know, the whole world's gonna, the whole world hates me because of, not, they don't hate me, they hate themselves. I'm bringing out the hate that people have for themselves all over the world. All right, Logan? I'm, I'm bringing out. People thought that they loved themselves. They even portrayed themselves as confident, that they had self-esteem. You'll even have people talking about black is beautiful and shit like that, that, that the true colors are coming out, that they hate the skin that they're in for whatever reason, okay? Um, even even like people who claim, you know, it, that I love this skin I'm in. It, it could even be that somebody's not attractive, but they were portraying themselves. I'm bringing out the insecurities in people. And that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to, as a Heoka empath, trigger people to work on parts of themselves that they need to work on. But when you constantly fight that shit instead of just black, look, I'm telling you, black, they keep putting this on there when I talk about this shit. It's a lot of crows. It's a lot of black people that don't like the skin that they're in. Okay. Okay. And this is going to trigger, right? And that, that's what I'm designed. I'm not designed to have a lot of friends. You know, p people like me, we don't have friends because we're honest and people don't want to hear that shit, right? Um, there's going to be probably people that watch my channel or even have channels that are going to get triggered by this, but you're going to have to sit there and think, is the way, is my attitude say that? You know what I mean? It, is, the, the, does the way, is the way that I come off and the way that I, I treat other people, really saying that. Am I really happy with who I am and, and how I was born? You're going to have to ask yourselves this, all right? But on a lighter note, we got some people in Scientology, I guess, or somebody that wants to get... I hope this is not the time to be connected to that shit. I hope somebody or they're lying about it. I, I don't know. It's not the kind of thing I would lie about either because there's a lot of people who want to attack those types of people. They could have said that a tarot reader is involved with Scientology. <laughs> huh? This, these are also people that, um, this, this is, yeah, dangerous. This is getting dangerous. Hold on a second. I, I have to, I have to pause this for a minute. Okay. I love when they laugh at it too. You have a gift. Anyone that has a gift, things are going to get dangerous because there are people who have no gifts that can see it, right? These people, they don't, they can barely tell time on a fucking watch with hands on it, all right? These are people who said to themselves, I don't have to finish school. I want to be involved with gangs. That's going to take me somewhere. And then fentanyl came into play, and now everybody's betraying each other. There's no sense of brotherhood or loyalty or nothing. So now they have to do really low shit in order to survive. Be wary of this shit, okay? So when they see that somebody else has a natural gift, oh, does it agitate them, All right? I don't know if any, some of these people, they have gifts. But they, you know, whatever life they chose, that shit just went out the window. For some of these people, you know, they they are using their gifts, but just for the wrong reasons. And for others, they are just literally placed in this matrix as a non-player character to stop those who are gifted from where they have to go. You're going to have to figure out where you fall, all right? There are people who want to believe that they are super gifted and psychic even, but they're mimicking someone else. There are people who believe that they're not gifted and they are super gifted and it's because they're around family and friends that tell them, break them down and, and make them feel shame and guilt over something. So just figure out what side, <coughs> excuse me, you're on. So this is an opportunity to move forward possibly with, um, in your sexy skinny jeans. So this could be for you. This is an investigator here. I don't feel like they are though. Am not. Am not. You know, every time they say that, there's someone that's so childish around me. 
someone is such a baby. I'm not. I can't stand when this person is around. It just lets me know that someone's like such a big kid. There's no dudes that want anything because it's a chick. I can feel it. Or it's a little bitch of a dude. But it feels like a chick that's like, mm-mm, mm nuh -uh. Someone, someone is, um, took some money or, or this is an opportunity, but this is also somebody that's an investigator. This could be a tarot reader. That's just super gifted, like an investigative, someone that doesn't just read tarot, but they're like more of a, an investigator or a detective type energy. All right. This person has achieved a lot of things. Somebody, what, what is this? M not M not what somebody you're high. Yeah. You're drunk. They are. If somebody said, are you high? Are you drunk? That's my uh, dr high and drunk card. Am not. Uh-uh. Somebody's way too immature to be working or, or d whatever the situation is. Management, there's absolutely no way. It, it could be more than one part. There could be seven different people that are high and drunk and management's not doing shit. What are they doing instead? Huh? What are they doing instead? They're all working together for what? For what? Oh, this is chop my child trafficking card. Yeah, there's a child, huh? They're all working together as well to try to fool somebody about what someone's past is. All right, these people are all trying to create some kind of like fucking facade mirage because they could see that somebody's interested in somebody. They're so there, there's somebody's playing detective, but they're not. Whoever's playing investigator or cop or detective, you will lose your life. All right. I just want to get that out of there. Let's, um, let me grab some of these. All right. Somebody, uh, is just a fun person. You're a fun person. You want somebody that's fun. But I think that there's people who think it's fun, right? To, to try to ruin someone's reputation. So they want me to call this out. Anybody who thinks it's fun to try to like just ruin someone's reputation or lie about someone's past, you will lose your life. We're going to get real cutthroat with this shit. Okay. Children, I'm telling you, this is trafficking. They're working together to try to, there, there's, is adopted. They could be, is there a child with them? Oh my God. Is there people for management that just, that have children with them? This is selling, selling children. Okay. I feel like this is happening exactly in the way that it's supposed to happen. Buying and selling children. Management's doing this. All right. Somebody could have said, oh, we're adopting this child. No, it's trafficking. These kids need to speak up. You're in a situation right now where you're being given a, um, a voice. Use your voice. Were you taken against your will? The kids may not even be in there. They could be in vehicles and stuff and somebody brought money or something. There's, gonna, there's supposed to be a swap. All right. Is, is a racist. This could be Sean Charles, Piper Charles. Racist. This could be management. Even tell me about is a racist. They could lie and say that someone else is a racist as well. But this is King of Swords. All of these people could be working to let first off. Let's say this. Let's say that there's people who are working together to try to make it look like somebody said something and it's racist, racist. That doesn't everybody, you know what I mean? It's like, get over yourself. So you're going to tell me you've never said something. I say it all the time. People think I'm racist. I'm just honest about how I feel about a certain demographic of fucking people. Okay. Um, and, and I, I expect them to be honest about how they feel about me. I'm okay with that shit. I just, I, I am okay with knowing that most people aren't going to like me that do because I'm honest. I'm okay with that. But you're going to sit there and tell me that you have never said anything. Really? I don't believe you. Um, there's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius though, or a Sagittarius. Yeah. Uh, this person has probably been betrayed by a lot of. So say someone's racist against white or black people, whatever it is, right? Someone's a horrible fucking influence. So this is a father. Um, 
that this person may have had bad experiences with a certain type of race, right? Same thing with me. At one point, I was I, I felt myself being turned into a fucking racist because of how many black people were coming for me that didn't even know me, that I don't I don't even ha- I don't even know who they are, right? Yes, absolutely, and I became comfortable with that shit, you know, and I still am racist. I'm racist against black people who attack white people or are not anyone else for no reason because that's been my personal experience i told you i speak off of my personal experience this goes with a belief system okay what i believe history is and, and what i see with my my own eyes and i hear with my ears and i experience this is what i experience so somebody else may have had the same thing right Maybe you were put in a situation where you were like attacked or by a bunch of white motherfuckers. And this is your experience, right? If that is the case, I actually respect that. I have no choice but to. It's your experience, right? Just the way it is. You can't tell somebody how to feel when they experience something that, that is and it's solid, you know? It is what it is. All right, so... Yeah, and, and I feel like, you know, maybe somebody didn't look at it that way because this is that, you know what I mean? Like may, maybe maybe at some point someone doesn't realize that that's why they are the way that they are, you know? Like this has been my experience. Maybe you grew up in a white neighborhood or something like that and you're black or you could be Indian or something, whatever it is. And your experience is that, that a certain race treated you a certain kind of way. You have the right to feel however you feel. Right. You could sit there and say, I am racist. What is somebody going to do? So what? I mean, like, there's so many more important things to worry about, right? What, are you going to sit there and fucking attack or or, or hate everyone that, that, you know what I'm saying? Either way, somebody, you're destined for fame, though? Hmm? Who is this? This could even be people that are racist, that are pissed off that somebody else is destined for fame. You know, but me, you are too, right? Who, who, who is also, who's destined for fame? Rebecca Tiffany or Tiffany Buck? Okay. Or Buck Tiffany. All right. This would be like Buck Tiffany. If this is Buck or Rebecca, whatever it is, it's someone's destined for fame though. Hold on. Um, this could be Justin as well, or J- Jason. This could be Tiffany Jones. Let me see what CTJ is. Camel toe juice. Huh. Huh. Why do they do this to me? <laughs> Why do they do this to me? Tell me about this, I guess. I don't know. Does somebody have a big ass... Oh, there's there's somebody that's racist, but I don't feel like it has anything to do with color. I think it's how they look, right? I think somebody's built awkward or, and I said this before that I feel like there are people that, um, first off, I think this could be a man, but I, I think there are people who were born in certain bodies and it's karma because of whatever they've done to people they could have been bullies they could have bullied people for their looks in other lifetimes so now you are born as an unattractive awkwardly built man or woman i believe this shit i believe that however we look in this lifetime has a lot to do with what kind of karma we have i do whether you were incarnated as a fly or a beautiful human being it says a lot about the kind of person you are. This is this is just how my how I view shit. This person is I feel like this person's drunk as shit though. But this person just like the this is somebody that just likes to destroy shit. That's all. My child. So um They did something to someone's child. Are you in a relationship with somebody that you don't even realize is racist against you? That's what it feels like for somebody. Tell me about, that's my child. Whose child? Somebody's like, that's my child. That's my child. You're sitting there saying that you adopted 
That's my fucking child. Yo, somebody's getting real mad. Somebody that passed on is like, that's my kid. Who, Whose kid? Someone's trying to say, the kid needs to speak up. The best friend? Duck. Somebody a duck. Quack, quack. I'm telling you, there's a dude again. Best friend, Lionel or Lisa? Keith? That's their kid? Is somebody saying that, that, that they're adopting this child? Somebody needs to open their mouth. Is it the kid? Is there a kid around? Tell them. That I'm not here because I want to be. All right? This is happening for you, man. It's, it's a pastor? This pastor is a child trafficker. Do we have? I hope that there's people in the judicial system around. If if there's not, then I'm just gonna call out some shit. All right, tell me, is there anybody from the? No, anybody connected with the kid? Well, separate yourself from these people for a second. Anyone connected to doing this shit with this child, you're going to your your life is over. Your life is going to come to an end for the kid. I want you to sit back and watch the power of somebody who actually is a god incarnate. Okay, just wait for it. Okay, something's gonna happen to these people. Dan, okay. And now you're going to be able to tell people that there really is such a thing as gods that can actually speak judgment and it happens, okay? Now, what, what, who, who, can, who can take this kid? I don't want someone just taking this child, all right? Is that, is that, are you up there? Somebody handle something with this kid, please, that's trustworthy? All right, I'm going to clear that. All right. Let's get another message because that was just like awkward and unpleasant. All right. Let's get another message. All right. They keep going in on Sean. Why? Sean? Aaron? Is that the kid? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Name? Oh, they wanted a name for the kid. Sean Aaron. Right? Is that your name? So somebody had somebody else's kid. Okay. There's that's not the only kid though. Yeah, I guess you people are just gonna have to see. Okay. Um N A M A guy who's not a jerk. Yeah. Alright, well good. Donate. Uh, you got money and you were supposed to donate and you didn't. So th there's going to be another like array of bad things happening for people who were given money or found money and they still haven't donated. <laughs> it's going to keep happening. You know what I mean? So how about this? I'm going to call this out. They want me to call this judgment out. Anyone who I found money for and you haven't donated to my channel, anyone... You will lose your life because that just says that you don't have any any want to give back, and that means if you're not going to give back to me, you're not going to give back in the world, and you're fucking useless at that point. All right, all right. So this is a guy who's not a jerk. This is amazing. Okay, what is this? Okay, is that somebody going through something? It may be a hard. Oh, you're trying to. You know what I feel like this is? I feel like somebody's trying having a hard time. Finding a guy that's not a jerk at this point, you know what I mean? But there could be guys that aren't jerks that are having a hard time even befriending or finding friends. Rust in the water. Hotel, I want to say this publicly because there are people who watch my channel. There are men who are getting um, diagnosed with testicular cancer. Hotels are not legally allowed to have well water. And a lot of them do. Some of them know that they were built on top of wells. Others were lied to by the builders so that they could cut corners. The insides of the well rust. It's covered in rust. Covered. So I'm trying, you know, you're gonna, there's going to be some lawsuits for hotels because there's karma coming for, for people in the hospitality business where there's no fucking hospitality is what it feels like to me. Like overcharging, treating people like employees and shit like that. Like forgetting that without your your guests, you don't have a business. You just have a, a building. People who are bosses who didn't treat employees the way that they should have. And not realizing that without your employees, you just have an establishment. It's not a business without your employees. There, there feels like there's a lot of karma happening for like people not appreciating things. People, you know what I mean? Food. Right? 
Anyway, I feel like there's some really good guys that are just having a hard time finding relationships. All right, so these maybe you'll be brought together like really good girls who, who aren't bitches are going to be brought together with good guys who aren't jerks. And then they're going to like start a whole new, they're going to be prototypes, you know what I mean? They're going to put a message out there. They're going to be, it's going to be a statement, right? This is what a healthy relationship looks like. Best friends, there's, there's people that are destined to be together like this. And this is that jealousy again. So they want me to call this out again. I'm going to do this nonstop. Anybody who is like jealous of two people that are good people coming together or you try to stop it or you lie on somebody to try to like stop it or say that you will lose your life. There's something bigger happening here that needs to be changed. This world is, is disgusting. All right. And it needs a cleaning. And for those of us who can actually speak death into existence on people because we're just and we understand that if we're doing it to you, you deserve it. If you are crucial for evolution, you're okay. If you are detrimental to evolution, you're not okay. You either change shit or get off the fucking pot basically is what it is. There's going to be a lot of people real nervous because all chosen ones can speak this shit into existence and it will happen for some immediately. You'll see. Okay. You'll see. I want people that watch my channel to try this shit. If you know you're chosen, you know, find the biggest piece of shit that's been in your life. If some of you, it's like your husband or your wife or your roommate or friend, sibling, and just say it, look, um, because you do this, you, you could even say this because you're not conducive to evolution, you will lose your life. Just say that shit, you know, and see what happens. All right, they're going to be sending a message. Okay, yeah, tower moment. All right, legacy. Anybody's trying to stop them from leaving this legacy or getting generational wealth, there's going to be more waking up as well to this. Okay, that these two are going to start waking people up. This is amazing. Abandon, helping heal from abandonment issues. These people have abandonment issues too. Maybe they feel like you're going to abandon them. There could be some people that even aren't angry. But they feel like we're never going to see you again or we're never going to be able to hear you again or talk to you again or something like that. I feel like there's some people that need to let go of that and understand like, who knows, maybe you go with me. You know what I mean? Like, like let this shit happen naturally because the, you could be a part of whatever this plan is and not even realize it. And you're, you're like fucking your own shit up is what it feels like. Like there could be a whole bunch of people that are also a part of what these two have to do. And they just don't realize it yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel like these two are both grateful for what they have. I feel gratitude, right? There could be a business that's either grateful or should be grateful for some kind of message that's being put out about it. You would think, oh, okay. There's somebody that's lying about being a part blue. The blue one. There, there's, there's somebody that's lying about being a part of a business because what they're saying is, if you really were a part, a partner in this business, it feels like a partner, a partnership, right? Whatever this, you would be grateful for what someone is doing and not trying to attack the person. So be wary of someone saying that they're like an owner or something like that, and, and then they're not grateful for something that's happening. Like, you're going to know, well, oh, you're telling me that this is happening in my business? Thank you for that, right? But if they're attacking that, they're lying. All right, Greek. Greek. All right. Yeah, yes. All right, so that's what they want to know about that. So now there's got to be something more to this, or maybe that's just a quick message for somebody that needed to hear it right now, right? Be wary. Like, you're, there's no way you're part of this shit if this is the side that you're on or something like that. All right, let me get another quick message. I feel like there's just going to be multiple quick messages this time. Allie, you. Just like everybody else. So this could be happening a lot with people claiming to be, like, part of corporation or a business owner or something like that. You know what I mean? This is going to be happening a lot. All right. Duck, I'm telling you, there's a duck around. There's a dude posing as a woman. Be careful with this shit. All right? Be careful with that. Okay. All right. They're going to try real hard, man. Oh, my God, do I try? Right? Shaman. But that's in reverse, though. Spirit guy, but I'm going to keep it up front. I'm going to keep it up. That's what he said. Let me see. Um, I'm telling you, somebody's got a penis and not a vagina. Uh, Greek and Greek. 
you are Greek. I think somebody thinks that they're light skinned black and you're actually Greek. This has been happening a lot. You're Greek. Um, tell me this person's birth father because I feel like you are also a chosen one, right? And you were also kidnapped like the rest of us with a program. Tell me this person's actual birth father, please. Um, Leo Peters or Leon Peters or Len Peters. All right. Tell, tell me who stole him because somebody definitely kidnapped you or played a part. And it's usually somebody that's around you a lot because they have to make sure. Michael Harris or Michelle Harris. Hmm? Yeah. Michael Harris. Okay. Michael or Michelle Harris. All right. I feel like, you know, uh, so that's real quick for somebody. You are Greek and not light skin. Okay. You could be like Greek and Italian or something like that. I'm Greek and Irish and a little bit of German and stuff. So, all right, let's talk about the shaman. I want a shaman with you full time. What's up with full time? I don't know. Somebody could say that they work for you full time. Are they even an employee? And you need to ask someone to their face. Police? Uh, anybody claiming to be a cop to try to arrest somebody because you're on some bullshit, you will lose your life. Okay? All right. Yeah, don't don't let them arrest you. You don't have to let them arrest you. If you know, you could literally walk away and walk. And you, they don't know. The, the, let me ask a question. What are you going to do about the bodies that are all over? Show them the room next door. That, there you go. Thanks for showing up, officer. Thank you, because we need somebody to remove these dead bodies that are in the room next door decomposing. Thank you so much for showing up. We appreciate you. Thank you for your service. Have a good day as you leave. All right. Um, all right. So now let's do the spirit guide thing, right? Let's do the spirit guide thing. Yeah, the police trying to put someone in jail, a shaman, a spirit guide, somebody who's a good person. So be wary of this as well. They want me to call this out. Any police, because this is going to start happening all over the world. It's not going to be immediate, right? I'm sure some it may be, but we can speak judgment out like this. For any police that are trying to arrest good people, people that, that are needed to guide people through like times like this, because you motherfuckers couldn't do it. Any of you, whether you're real police or you're fake ones with fake ass badges, you will lose your lives. If you aren't policing and doing what you signed up to do, you will lose your lives. You will lose your lives. For some of you, it will be immediate because you are trying some bullshit that you shouldn't be doing. And for others, it's going to be like in some crazy way. It's going to happen exactly how the universe wants it because you are not more powerful than the universe. You're just not. And it'll be proven. I know some of you like to believe that you are. I get it. You know what I mean? There's that sense of ego trip that comes with that badge. We don't really care about that. All right. All right. Um, right. Because karma. All right. Uh, these are also people who are, have a destiny, a divine feminine. Anybody who's targeting divine feminines in the judicial system. All right. Divine ma answer or divine masculines. Okay. Karma for that because they're needed in the world. You understand? They are destined to do something in this world and you are not going to fucking stop nobody. You hear me? So I'm going to say it again. Any fake ass police or even real police investigators, detectives, agents, I don't give a shit who you are, judges, anybody in the fucking judicial system. If you are trying to arrest good people on some bullshit, you will lose your life. Period. Anybody who uh, acts like they were raised on a farm will lose your life. All right? This isn't a joke. This shit in this world is so disgusting and ugly and everybody just sitting there just being submissive to it and nobody has the balls to stand up and say some shit. It, it's disturbing. But that's where the gods come in, right? I mean, some of them shat the bed and they just didn't have what it took to actually stand up for something, so... You will be laid down instead, not in the way that you want to. What's on somebody's head? Forehead? I don't know what's up with somebody's forehead. Anyway. Is somebody mocking somebody? I don't know. Anyway. Um, so they're needed in the world. All right? 
they're going to plot on you guys. They're they're just warning. Anybody that, that's a good person claiming to be a spirit guide, all right, they're going to plot. If this is a woman, if this is a female shaman, okay, there are going to be police that are going to try and have you locked up because they're going to be plotting on the men. They want to remove women. There's a lot of women going missing on this planet. All right. I know I know around here, the women are just, they're, they turn out to be men with wigs all the time here. I don't know where the women are going. I mean, I know where they're going. They're either being held somewhere, they're being trafficked, or they're being killed for their organs. Uh, any man who's doing this and targeting women because you think that you're better or you're fucking needed more than we are, right? Uh, you will lose your life. Okay? Don't eat the lamb. All right. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more. August. Somebody, did, I guess, I don't know. This, this, this person could have been targeted since August. Gang of wanderers, right? That's it. Soulless beings, zombies. This, this is not a gang. It's, this isn't like gangs, like the cool gangs. You know, this ain't like cool in a gang. That this is uh, just a bunch of criminals who have no nowhere to go, nothing to do. Stop saying you're an analyst. What do you, what do you keep showing up with this for? Some some like call. They're saying call, go and then call. Don't wait. Just go and then and then call. All right. Anyway, so a gang of wanderers, soulless beings, and zombies. This these are the ones that you should be arresting. Uh, and any police officers who are the, taking the side of these fucking wanderers and these gang members and gang stalkers, um, you will lose your lives. All of these people will. All right. Anybody who doesn't, who wants to sit there and just get high and fucking gang stalk and steal and hack and cheat, your days are over. And the reason that they're over is because people like me and others can speak your death into existence now. Okay. We're going to show you. Uh, what? Do, do I need? Hold on. Hold on. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. So now that we can do this and we can just, people will drop. You know, some of them will drop just like that. And then others, it will be, you know, set up in some kind of way to make sure that they're removed. I said you guys are going to be removed from this planet. We don't want you here anymore like this, you know. We don't want traffickers and organ traffickers and people who try to hurt people and gang stalk and fuck with toilets and flatten tires and steal catalytic converters and hack and, and, and have electronic harassment devices. It's fake. Um, electronic harassment devices and shit like that. Your time is over. I said for my, my situation, it's over with me. It ends with me. You guys, it's like, who, who does this shit? Mental patience. Lifetimes of bad karma. And you were supposed to break this generational curse for a lot of you guys so that you don't have to do this shit to get money so that it comes naturally. We're all born with a birthright, right? To have inherit the earth, all of us. But then what happens? Bad people come into our lives. We start racking up karma. You know what I mean? You guys were supposed to break a generational curse and you didn't. For those of you who can't do this shit, you will lose your lives. Okay? You will lose your lives. Uh, fake grenades. Fake bomb. Oh, shit. Did I say that? Well, maybe I didn't say the whole word. Fake, um, like, semi-automatics. Fake landlord property manager. You pulled this out? You? Tell me about the landlord property manager. This person hasn't been a landlord or property manager for a long time. I feel like this person either either got fired or they quit or they just hasn't they haven't shown up or something like that. Tell, tell me what I, what I need to know about this property manager. Tell me tell me I'm fun and that's what keeps people. Yeah. Um, somebody's best friend, or they did something to someone's best friend. Chuck McAllister. Somebody saying that they're a property manager. Some, is, is there someone named Chuck McAllister saying that they're a property manager? Okay, tell me the truth. Are they? No. What? Like, what are you, bro? <laughs> Stop lying. Okay, so how about this? I got to say this? Really? It's this bad? So anybody claiming to work somewhere and you don't? I mean, do I say that you're going to... I mean, do I say this? I feel like they want me to be real cutthroat because there's ulterior motive and it's dangerous, right? All right. 
Anybody who's claiming to, to work at an establishment and you don't because you're either going to try and like attack somebody or kidnap or hurt somebody, you will lose your life. Okay? All right, great. Uh, tell me about this uh, wannabe property manager. Tell me about this wannabe property manager. Yeah, just wanting to sabotage, attack. That's all. That's it. You got to be wary of this shit. Boy. And I feel like if there ain't nobody at this business or this establishment that's handling shit, this is where the chosen ones come in, wherever you're at. Because I know there's a lot of you in hotels. And I know a lot of you are getting gang stalked in hotels and there's trafficking going on. You can speak death into existence. And there's no law against this, right? You don't say names. You don't say names. All you do is, you, if you're not conducive, you can say it specific like I do, right? But you could just say, if you are no longer conducive to evolution, you will lose your life. Okay? Yeah, these people are broke, right? They're doing stupid shit for money, impulsive shit for money, right? Yeah, I'm telling you, they're penny pinching like a motherfucker. These people could have also have lost everything because they were trying to hold on to money that belonged to somebody else, my ears ringing. So now they have to do fucked up shit for money because um, they were supposed to do something with it before. Somebody said this though, Jim, but the queen of swords, she, somebody said like, this is what's gonna happen, okay? Uh, if you hold on to my money or you try to keep me stuck and shit like that, what is this? There's a Gemini here, no doubt. I don't know, somebody, somebody is, um, uh, a man posing as a woman. I also feel like um, when you guys attack women, it, it, you're clearly gay. So let's put this out there. Any man who's actually gay, but you're holding it in and you think you're going to spend the rest of your life attacking women or using women so that you can play both sides and have, have your cake and eat it too, you will lose your life. Pick a fucking side. You understand? Pick a side. You like dick or you like vagina? It's really that simple. You can't have both like this, you know, or you can if it's okay with the woman and the man. Yes, you don't get to play yo-yo as I'm looking. You don't get to do this and play games like this. Who the fuck do you think you are? Do you want a man? Do you want a woman? Make a choice, bro. All right. So any woman that's doing the same thing, any, any woman that's like lesbian and you want a man because you need somebody to pay your goddamn bills, but you like crotch. All right, and you want to use men to the point where you're destroying their life. You will lose yours. All right, just be the person that you want everybody else to be to you. It's that simple. Treat people how you want to be treated. It doesn't have to be like this. All right, tell me some more. This is going to force people to change, though, because they're going to start seeing people dying. All right. Let's see what else. What else do we need to know? You are a product of what you believe. Oh, okay, here. Tell me one more. Or maybe I don't know. Yelled at the person driving in front of me. Road rage. Ragers, right? Impulsive. All right, so I mean, I don't know if road, road ragers deserve to be killed, but I feel like what they're saying is just people who are. You're, you're mean, you're violent, you're violent the way that you are with shit. You don't have the ability to like communicate and talk. You're, you're impulsive and, and you, your reaction is like on a thousand is what I feel like they're saying for people like this. I think that, that this, this message is going to be them wanting to, to make it clear what types of people they will not accept being on this planet anymore because the judicial system didn't do much. You guys like to put away good people. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys thought that you were above the fucking law and you forget that we pay for your paychecks. Like, don't ever forget that shit. You're still citizens. You just are supposed to be patrolling something. All right? Go patrol some shit. Tell me about this yelled at the person driving in front of me. Very immature. Very, very childish. But this could be even somebody that's always texting because this is a message. Like, you're texting. Is it really that person's fault? Right? Um, do they want me to call this shit out? I feel like they're getting so specific. Okay, anybody who's drinking and driving and texting and doesn't give a fuck about about the welfare of others while they are on the road, and this seems to be Noah, and this seems to be like a consistent thing where they're showing me somebody texting, driving with their friggin' knees and shit, thinking that it's cool. You could have had multiple tickets or just multiple accidents. You guys will lose your lives. 
okay? Because I feel like that for some people, you're in danger of taking someone else's life and there's ancestors that can see that there's something that's going to transpire with the time that you leave somewhere and the time that somebody else leaves somewhere and that somebody else's life because of the way you're living yours is worth more than yours at this point. I'm telling you, I feel like they can see that something's going to happen. Who's the person on the other end? I'll even get a name. Who's the person on the other end that if this person didn't lose their life because you're fucking drunk, I feel like, or you're high? Um, who's the person on the other end that would have wound up losing their life that uh, has more to offer this world? What was that? Bob. Um, Bob, Robert, Keith, or Keith or Kevin Roberts? Okay, just... Keith Roberts, okay? That person would have eventually, I don't know if this person would have in the car with you. You could have been driving with this person. And this person is valuable, all right? So you have to go bye-bye, bro. All right, let's get another one. I feel like that's just a real cut and dry one. <sighs> yank, they were gonna yank you. They were gonna take this person. So this person must be a chosen one. They were going to take you somewhere. I don't know if you were already there. They were going to take you somewhere bad. All right. So now they can't take you. All right. I feel like they lied to you to get you somewhere. All right. Okay. Um, chosen one. If you are, you have the ability to do that shit as well. You're like a good coffee. Sometimes don't drink the coffee. I forget about you, but I love finding you in my kitchen. Be careful. Any, okay, here we go. Anybody putting shit in people's food. Drink. Anybody. I don't give a fuck who you are. Anybody putting shit in people's food or drink that they didn't okay for ulterior motive or some bullshit. You will lose your life. You have to say it. This is why chosen ones are who we are because we say shit with force. We are speakers, singers, rappers, actors. All right? All right. Tell me about this shit with the coffee. What is this? Yeah, you don't walk away. Okay, they want me to say this. If you don't stop, because some people did it because they were blackmailed, right? So I'll say it differently. Rewind. If you don't stop putting shit in people's food and drink or offering it to them, if you don't walk away from this fucking life, you will be giving yours. It will come to an end. All right. Okay, here we go. What is this? Yeah, I feel like somebody has no choice. And what's this? Walk away from this life because it's just stressful. I mean, I don't even feel like a lot of people want to do it. Why are you doing it? It most feels like this is all I know. This is all I've been doing. Do I, you mean to tell me everybody ain't doing it? No, fuck. Everybody's not doing this shit. Well, how do you get caught up in this shit? Like messing with toilets, putting shit in people's food. Just um, immediately when you hear something, I, 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 have, I can feel people's reaction. I can actually feel it. It's, it's hard to explain. I have literally said some shit where I found some something for someone or, or I said, oh, this is going to be great. This is going to happen for you. And immediately somebody around is like, how do I fucking ruin this? You motherfuckers. Okay. You guys for, for the ones who just have to ruin something for somebody and, and you, you like that, if that's your instinct and there's no, uh, first you're, you're, you're dangerous, not dangerous to us. You're dangerous to yourself, which makes you dangerous to other people, I guess. You will lose your life. If you don't have the ability to change that side of you, that you just want to ruin shit for people, but you think that shit being ruined for you is a problem, you don't deserve to live anymore. All right? So tell me more about this. Anybody plotting on people, planning, right? Anything. Just to, to sabotage, to set them up, to have them sexually assaulted, killed, kidnapped, drugged, stolen from you will lose your life we're gonna see just what kind of cleaning we can do on this earth you understand yeah, judgment okay speak this shit into existence for those of you who know for a fact that your chosen ones test it out i want you to test it out okay you're gonna blow it's gonna blow your mind like i said for some of them it's not going to happen immediately but some of them will just so your ancestors will show you you know, and if, 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 let's just say for some reason you wind up getting pissed off at somebody and you're just like, you know, be careful, first of all, the words and who, in the way you word the shit. But if, if they feel like somebody doesn't deserve that, but maybe you don't know things that they know, they will get another chance. 
All right, but but you're gonna get used to speaking this shit into existence, right? That's the whole point is for you guys to get used to doing this shit. You can also, for some, wake people up from death. All right, I have done that as well. Hold on, is there people that you want? Okay, wake up. Baby, come back. <laughs> All right, partnerships and alliances. Anybody, I'm telling you. Anybody is going that's going to receive judgment for plotting on anybody that is supposed to partner up. It doesn't have to be a relationship. And thank you would impose. Anybody that wants to impose, right? You want to cross boundaries. You want to stalk. You want to watch. You want to voyeur. You want to record. If you don't have the ability to change that about yourself, you will be removed from this earth. You will lose your life. Okay, this is going to be, a, this has been going on for the past century. It's been getting worse over time. And now it's just like, oh, this is just acceptable. Now, now it's like getting to the point where like, you're weird if you don't gang stalk. No, no, you're fucking weird if you do, right? There's nobody stands up and says anything. This shit becomes like it's normal. There's nothing normal about living your life like this. All right. And anybody that's trying to interfere with anybody, any good friendship, partnership, business, hiring somebody, let's say somebody gets a job. If your initial reaction is how do I get them fired? You will fucking be removed. Your life will be taken. Anybody who wants to cause pain for other people and think that you can't have pain yourself, you will experience a lifetime, whatever's left of this life, full of pain, and then you will be removed. Moved, and then you will have more pain in the afterlife, okay? Anybody messing with black magic, fucking voodoo, taking people's hair, right? Taking their DNA, going through their trash and shit like that, making voodoo dolls of anybody. For anybody who's still fucking with this shit on good people, do it on bad people, right? Fuck with them. Kill bad people. I told you, you guys get karma for that. Good karma for doing this shit. You start focusing and turn that, that nasty behavior on the nasty people and leave the good ones alone because you need the good ones, right? Who the fuck do you go to when you're out of money? The good people. Be careful of killing all the good people. You ain't got nobody left to go to, motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> so if you start turning that shit and turning that pain into profit, right, which is what? The universe will wind up blessing you in some way. Go attack bad people. Attack pedophiles. Attack child traffickers. Leave the good people alone. For Okay, let's just do this on a whole. For people who, who don't have the ability to want to clear this earth of the trash that has transpired and accumulated on this earth. For people who don't understand that you get good karma for attacking bad people and removing them. Okay? And you want to still attack good people that you know you're going to need further down the road. You will be removed from this planet. Your life will come to an end. It will, 47, 47. All right, so tell me about this partnerships and alliances. All right. What is this? Hope. You got anyone, if you want anybody that has hope, right? You want to you crush people's hopes and dreams. For anybody who does this, where you just want to like, <sighs> your life will be taken. You will be removed. Listen to me. I'm telling you, this is going to be a whole new time that we're living. You're going to be motherfucking just dropping bodies all over the place. All right? This has to happen. And 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 media? Anybody using social media? Catfishing? Using social media? Because, they're, they're, look, they're, this, is, this is them speaking this shit right through me. Anybody um, claiming to be a mentor on social media or a guide catfishing people? To rob them, take their money, or fool them, set them up, meet them somewhere, and then take them or kill them. Anybody doing this shit, your fucking lives will be taken. You will be removed from this planet. This is the kind of shit that chosen ones have to start focusing on. Okay, there, there's, there's something that we have to do, which is why we're having an awakening. It's in the glove. Whatever you're looking for is in the glove. Um, all right, so let, let's keep going. Smile. It's going to be great, though, because it's, it's going to give a lot of the chosen ones a real sense of purpose. You're going to see you're making a difference like, immediately, okay? Immediately. What is this? Showing up to Thanksgiving high. A lot of you guys are going to have to get sober, though. It's going to be a requirement for you guys to get sober because you're not going to be able to, in, in order to do this and call, see how this, this horn, like, speaking judgment, in order to do this, okay? 
You you are you are uh, going to be giving people hope during difficult time. You're becoming wicked. For those of you who are addicts and you're doing crazy shit for this fentanyl, it's going to require for you guys to get yourself sober. I'm going to say again until there's somebody who created a pill where um, you're withdrawing, you withdrawal. Once you're off of the the opiates, you don't have withdrawal from that. Somebody's going to wind up helping the world by giving this out so that people can wind up changing and changing their life. Because, you know, I have compassion and I understand that this has been a problem, right? There's somebody who created it. I'm not saying their name, but they're partnering up with somebody who's in that line of work and they're going to change the world with this shit, okay? Until then, you guys need to call Crossroads Treatment Center for those of you um, who watched my channel and didn't hear me say that before. It's a 1-800 number. It's a Suboxone doctor. They take every insurance, government, whatever. And it costs a dollar to get your Suboxone out every month, okay? My, I go with my best friend every month. It's not like I'm just saying this and I don't go. I go. I was never on fentanyl, but I was on enough shit where it might, it might as well have been fentanyl. So, um, yeah, so this is what's going to be a requirement um, for you guys to do this because then you're just being a hypocrite. You won't be able to speak death because you're probably close to it at that point, right? So, it's, you know, just logic. What else? What, what are we on? 50 fucking minutes already? All right. Tell me more. Warner Wonder Bra. All right. So what? You got to be honest. Like, what does that to say? Okay. I don't know. You got to be honest. Being caught driving without a license. Right. You can't be, you can't be breaking the law. Okay. This is what they're saying. This, these are the ascensions that you're going to have to get to a level of, you're going to have to be honest about who you are, your past and your mistakes. All right. Cause you can't be judging other people while you have all kinds of secrets. You have to be an open book. It's a requirement. You have to be a sober. You have to be sober. I mean, like, you know, cognizant, right? Um, otherwise, you're a fucking hypocrite. Uh, and you can't be breaking the law. You know, they're, they're, I feel like you guys know where you have to be in life in order to call judgment on somebody else. I had to get to the point where, I, you know, I admit when I'm wrong. And I have apologized for saying certain shit to people as well. We all make mistakes. We all say shit we shouldn't say. We all do shit we shouldn't do. When you can humble yourself like that, right? Then you become a judger of the earth that they talk about. Uh, the whole point is to put fear into people, not this fear where it's like, I want to, I want to make, I want you to fear me, but I haven't done anything to generate any kind of fear. Um, my idea of healthy fear in a man is a man that stands up in the face of diversity. I have no fear of a man who attacks women. I, I don't, a man who, who preys on, on a woman that you're supposed to be protecting. I have no fear of you. You could have killed 500 people. I'm not going to fear you for it because I could probably kill 500,000 if I wanted to with my words, I realize now. But even before I realized this, I still didn't have any fear of people just because they said who they were or they were belonged to a group or they had a certain title. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know you. I don't, I don't know you personally to know if I should be afraid of you, you know? Um, and it's not disrespect. It's just, you, I would feel like you would feel the same way, right? Um, and maybe people did about me and now they're going to have a healthy fear. It should be a healthy fear of me and people like me, but we'll see. All right. So anybody holding a harassment device, right? Any, anybody who wants to come with harassment devices, maybe I didn't make myself fucking clear earlier. Anybody who's holding a harassment device, anybody who wants to push the envelope, all right? You will lose your life. Okay. And don't think that because you're a chosen one that that can't happen. I feel like there's going to be people, like, well, I'm chosen. I, no, you will be removed and your spirit will jump in somebody else. This happened already with somebody. All right? Somebody just couldn't seem to get their shit together. Okay? And instead, they left. They went into somebody else. And then another person who was chosen that was passed away jumped in him. It's called soul swapping. All right? Weren't prepared for this. Some people must have died. Okay? That's what's going to happen. I'm going to leave it at that. All right? So for my chosen ones, get to this this level of ascension and you'll be able to speak death. I don't know if there's there's a few more besides me, but I don't feel like there's many because a lot of people, they decided to go backwards instead of forward. So we'll see if maybe this makes people um, want to level up. All right? We're not going nowhere. Love you. Philly out.